evening, everyone. I'm Clay Carmichael, principal of Pedro Menendez High School. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you, dignitaries that have joined us. Thank you, Mr. Mignon and Mr. Forson, as well as the entire school board who have guided us through these turbulent times. And thank you to those frontline public servants from medical to military to fire rescue to law enforcement officers who protect us each and every day. I want to do a special thank you tonight and a special welcome to our retirees, Jan Noseworthy, Leah Price, Celeste Bowker, Deb Bonvillet, and Stan Jones. They've had a career of service to our students. And most of all, thank you to the parents and teachers and to the community members who have reared such a spectacular group of students. Graduates and families, please enjoy tonight's ceremony. Go Falcons! I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Graduation is a time for family, friends, teachers, and administrators to assemble to celebrate the completion of 13 years of public school. Your commencement is very unique as we have been following a stay-at-home order from the governor since March. I have been honored to deliver many graduation addresses over the years where I have stood before the seniors and shared in the excitement of the event. My preparation to address you today has been very difficult due to the unprecedented time in our country, state, community, and schools. Nothing as, is the same as it was in February. Today, I want to focus on you, the class of 2020. Wherever you are, even though we are, <clears throat> there are many challenges on the horizon, I know each one of you is prepared to face the future with knowledge and courage to make a difference in the world. Your school story began for most of you in the fall of 2007. Today I want you to think about this year. As you entered your senior year, the excitement of being a senior prevailed. You proudly provided leadership to your school, in classes, in productions, in the sports arena, and in the sports arena. The underclassmen looked up to you, and the school administrators relied on you to model the expectations set forth for your school. You took the lead. You were forced to be reckoned with as you left your mark on the school. Well done, class of 2020. You left an impression on your teachers and within the school, which will never be duplicated. In January, as we enter into a new decade, the last semester of your senior, senior year began as expected. I can imagine that many of you were looking ahead to the prom, grad night, yearbook signing parties, senior class breakfast, convocations, and many other events which would mark the end of public school. You also began to plan your transition to college, vocational school, the military, or the workforce. The goals you had set for yourself were coming true as you had worked hard 
to turn these dreams into a reality. Fast forward to March of 2020. Your school emptied out. Classrooms darkened as instruction went online. You said goodbye to seeing friends every day. The world was abruptly interrupted and the normal dramatically changed. The class of 2020 was on the front line. You lost out on the privileges and celebrations which you looked forward to. I am saddened by the upheaval you experienced. I can only say that through all of this, you will be winners. The senior class of 2020 is in a position to face the future with strength as your generation will be instrumental in solving the problems which lie ahead. As a child, I recall December 7, 1941 and the cat catastrophic events that unfolded at Pearl Harbor. I also recall high school seniors who were faced with a call to defend our country in World War II, many before they were able to graduate from high school. All of those young men and women blazed a courageous path, and we appreciate that to this day. The class of 1942 was called to serve and accepted the demand with pride. They were asked to give up things they had planned to enjoy making better for others in the future. Your experience is similar. Each of you made the sacrifice to give up things you anticipated. In doing this, you have contributed to the health of our community. Though you may not realize it, you have made a difference. On behalf of the school district, I thank you. The class of 2020 will be asked to continue to make a difference in the world. Each one of you must use your strengths, talents, and education to forge new paths in technology, medicine, sciences, business, and many other fields. You will go forward in a new world to address and make your mark. The members of the class of 2020 will face unpredictable challenges. You have shown your resiliency during this final semester of your senior year. As graduates, you will be on the front line to develop innovative solutions to addressing the tasks ahead. I know each one of you will work together in new environments to assure a better world. We are counting on you. The class of 2020 will lead the next great generation. Congratulations to all of you. Go Falcons. My first words to the class of 2020, congratulations. From the school district, we're proud of the accomplishments and the achievements of this class. I also want to share my personal feelings of compassion for you. I'm sorry for the disappointment that has come with the pandemic of COVID-19. I'm sorry for the fear and the unknown that's come with this situation. And lastly, I'm sorry that you've been denied many opportunities to celebrate and to be recognized for your efforts in front of your family, your teachers and friends. So here we are. Your journey's been like no other. You reached the highest of mountains and dealt with some unexpected hardships. For you, the uniqueness of your experience is now part of your life story. There's a special quality that you each have. While some of you are natives of St. John's County, many of you did not begin your educational journey here. This is a class of 2020 that came from all over the country to this place at this time. During your time here, most of you had similar goals. It was to make good grades or to be part of a successful team be in the band or a musical ensemble or theater group or some other activity. It's likely now that each of you will begin to branch out in many directions. After today, you'll begin to venture to other places. Many of you will continue formal education while others will join the workforce in a wide variety of careers. In the past, I've shared with graduates that the day after graduation, you feel different. Your parents will now expect you to take the next steps on your own You've reached the age of adulthood, and now you do become totally responsible for your actions. Today, I want to share with you another message, though. You're probably sitting with your family right now. The most important people in your life are right there with you. Take advantage of this moment to be together with the people that most shaped who you are. Appreciate this moment and know that while everything around you might change dramatically, the group sitting beside you will always be there. Maybe not physically, but in your heart, they're there to support you in the next stage of your life. I congratulate each of you and wish you only the best. You will leave, lead this world in ways that, that don't, you don't even know right now. You may be successful in the eyes of many. You may become a famous doctor, or an attorney, a musician, or a high-profile celebrity. 
Or you may be successful only in the eyes of one person. That one may be a future spouse, son or daughter, being a mentor, father, mother, husband or wife, to someone is a blessing that can change the world. And whether you influence one person or a thousand, your value to this world's the same. I'd like to close by sharing a piece of wisdom from Helen Keller. It goes like this, I long to accomplish a great noble task, but it is my chief duty to accomplish small tasks as if they were great and noble. Your life has been many, many small tasks leading to today, to the opportunity to celebrate and to take that next step in your life. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Hey class of 2020, it's been a wild ride, huh? I could stand here and say it's been a great four years, but I'm gonna be honest, it's been a little of a mess. It's been stressful and difficult, but hey, that's life. Even with all the troubles, we all made the best of it. I'll never forget the times I had with my friends, doing homework and the many 4 a.m.ers we had together. I'd like to thank all of my teachers that helped me, but two in particular, Mr. Luker and Coach Lippo. Thank you both for always being there, understanding me, and pushing me to be the best I can be. It's kind of funny because most people stereotype me as the dumb redneck. While yes, I would agree with them to some extent, but my lifestyle has made the schoolwork and the effort way more fun and enjoyable, knowing I could motivate myself to go mud bogging after I finish. It's awesome to see people's reactions when I walk into school with giant camo sweatpants on or mud still on me somewhere. But it should show that anyone can achieve what they want in life regardless of who you are and still have fun in the process. Weightlifting was definitely one of my lifesavers during the last two years for sure because I had a new motivation to wake up every day and be with a team and train my body. The best advice I could give to someone who is struggling with balancing school against other things such as friends, family, drama, sadness, or anxiety would be to find a routine and find that balance to your schedule so it won't become so overwhelming. Set aside that friend time after finishing your work. Set aside that time to do a sport. It's always important to have that time to yourself so things won't become so hectic in the future. Don't forget to make it fun. It's hard to change your way of thinking, how can I make all of this fun? Well, I get it, but there's always a way. Look at all the good that actually came out of this year, in these last four years, and the good that will come in college, or our new jobs, and our future in general. It's easy to fall down that hill to your breaking point, but try to get up, take a break, and do something for yourself. Make memories, because these next years are gonna be the ones that we're gonna remember. Doesn't matter who you are, or where you come from, because as cheesy as it sounds, we can all make things of ourselves. I'm not one to stand here and rant about my achievements, because I don't view them as that. I view them as overcoming struggles and finding out what I am and what I'm not capable of quite yet. Life's a journey, so to all of my lovely teachers and friends and family, make your hardships and accomplishments enjoyable in life. So here we go, class of 2020. We're the ones that people will remember. Throughout high school, I remember being told time and time again, you get out what you put in. In most cases, this was true not just for me, but for all students and faculty at Pedro, in academics, in sports, in extracurriculars, in jobs, in volunteering events, in school and community activities, in family life, in friends, and everything in between. With this recent crisis, we've been told a different story. Isolate yourselves so that others can be safe. By preventing us from seeing one another or finding comfort in what we love, we are told that this will fix the problem, and we hope beyond hope that it's true. On paper, it's a simple, easy solution, but in application, it's a much different story. Within a single sentence, the official lays waste to everything. We had put years of sleepless nights, tear-filled meltdowns, early morning grogginess, useless testing, unnecessary arguments, tactless elders, voluntary debts, sweat-inducing presentations, and thankless hours into, preventing us from seeing the cultivation of those efforts on the grand scale that we had been promised since the day we had begun. We had put in the effort, but we didn't get the results. We were not only prevented from seeing the traditional graduation, but the completion of our final sports seasons, of a final event for our extracurriculars, of the job we were just starting to feel comfortable in, of the last week of signing yearbooks and saying goodbye to our friends and our teachers, and to this community that had nurtured us into young adults these past four years. But are we left to be defined by this crisis, by how it robbed us of our final step between adolescence and adulthood? Or can we be remembered for what we did accomplish instead of what we weren't able to finish? What can we say we left behind as a legacy? Did you help a friend when they needed you? 
Did you struggle at school but kept trying anyways? Did you put up a good fight during a hard game? Did you try something new? Did you give a, some of your time to your family when they wanted to spend it with you? Did you give a stranger a moment of kindness even when you were struggling yourself? Did you find out you had a new interest by joining a club? Did you go to one of the school dances and find a friend there? Did you share something that you learned with someone you know? Did you finish a project even though it was hard and you didn't want to do it? Did you give of yourself a little time and effort to make something more than yourself? Find a moment, any moment, within the past four years where you left behind a positive mark on someone you met. Hold on to it. And whenever someone brings up the class of 2020, being remembered for being quarantined and robbed of its last rites of passage, remember it. That is your memory of the class of 2020. And no one, not even the officials who ordered us indoors to keep ourselves and others safe, can take it from you. Because it is far more important that you created your own legacy than to depend on the traditions of others to make it for you. And when we're finally allowed back into this world, a world forever changed by the physical and invisible marks of this crisis, that those lost arrows fuel you forward in the next chapter of your life. Cherish the moments spent with friends and family. Enjoy the amount of work it took to produce the products we use on a daily basis. Appreciate the countless hours of training the athletes put in every day to compete. Greet others with a calm smile. And notice all the little details and nuances in both the natural man-made world around you, the things that went unnoticed before, but now you miss dearly. With this new appreciation and the pent-up emotions and drive to do something for however many months we're stuck in this state of limbo, resolve to make some of the positive changes permanent. Continue to advocate for higher pay for essential workers, to champion the positive environmental results from extremely reduced pollution, to support one another in our private battles, to find a slight glimmer of light in the darkest of moments, to find common ground between bickering parties, and to find new solutions to problems that we never knew were going to be an issue. So it's up to each of us to find a new purpose and a new drive in this first step into a rapidly changing world as adults, as individuals with our own dreams, hopes, and plans for the future. In the past few months, society has defined us by this crisis, defined us by this moment, likely the most disappointing, frustrating, and terrifying months of our lives. But let us not be remembered by the slight stumble into adulthood, but by how we regained our balance moving forward, making the most of what we learned from our falter. None of our paths forward will be easy, so don't expect them to be. It's not the path that we expected, but it's the path we were given. It's up to us to walk past what we had lost and focus on what we can still gain from this, this threshold of excitement and disappointment. After all, you get out what you put in. Hello and good evening, parents, relatives, friends, faculty, and staff. My name is Drew Prill, the senior class president of the class of 2020 at Pedro Menendez High School. When I first ran for president our sophomore year, I never knew that I'd be giving a virtual speech. I imagined standing at a podium on the amphitheater stage, and I was so excited to be able for all of us to say our final goodbyes. But due to some circumstances, we have to do it differently this year. I remember walking into Pedro Menendez on my first day, thinking that my homeroom was first period. I walked into Miss Morrison's room and realized I was in the wrong spot after looking at all the unfamiliar faces around me. After leaving her classroom, I attempted to look for Mr. Luker's room. It only took me roughly three laps around the school till I arrived at room 830. I felt lost, but now that I look back, I realize everyone was, and we just hit it behind our first day facade. We would join clubs, play sports, and go out of our way to find new friends. Moving on to sophomore year, we finally became something besides the freshmen who believed there was a third floor. We began to get into our little friend groups and start to get to know our faculty and staff. We went to more school functions and got to cheer for our football team under the Friday night lights. And I like to describe this year as the feeling right after you take off in an airplane. You got off the ground and you are now finally flying. Junior year was arguably one of the best years of high school. We were all comfortable in who we had become. We got to experience our first win against St. Augustine in football. And we finally got to experience prom. We participated in our Star Wars skit and my personal favorite memory, our talent show, where Daniel Ashley and I butchered Hips Don't Lie by Shakira. This is the year that I realized some of the moments you will remember for the rest of your life are the ones that give you discomfort. One of my favorite quotes comes from Louis C. Boone, don't fear failure so much that you, ref you refuse to try new things. The saddest summary of a life contains three descriptions, could have, might have, and should have. These three years, six semesters, and 540 days, give or, give or take a few due to hurricane season, have led us to our senior year. We thought the work would slow down, but we had college applications to submit, caps and gowns to order, and senior dues to pay. We went to homecoming not knowing that it would be the last time we all danced and laughed together while John Whitlatch would tear up the dance floor. 
We killed the homecoming week dress up days and went all out because we could finally comprehend what school spirit was all about. I believe this is the year that we all decided to get out of our comfort zone and really live what time we had left at Pedro. Throughout these years, I probably would have drowned in schoolwork, stress, and procrastination if some of the faculty and staff didn't make it just a little easier for us every day. I want to personally thank some of my teachers for this. Mrs. Morrison was always able to tell if a student was having a bad day or just seemed off and was the first person to stop you after class and ask you, hey, is everything all right? Do you need to talk to me? She was always able to tell if I was in a bad mood and knew exactly how to help. I would also like to thank Mr. Higgins for keeping me on track. Anytime I saw him in the hallways, I would turn the other way because I knew he would be asking me about my psychology IA, my community service hours, and the million other IB requirements. Although I despise getting fronted, he was always understanding and would help me with any task. He pushed all of us to do our best. Another huge thank you goes out to Dr. Carmichael for always having personal relationships with every student. I remember walking in the hallway freshman year, and he walked up to me and said, Hey, Drew, good morning. How are you doing today? It was nice knowing that the staff here at Pedro knew us more than just a student sitting in a classroom. It was comforting knowing that they were attempting to build relationships with students and not just get rid of us. I would also like to thank my other fellow class officers for being such a creative group. Kaylin Sims, Appling Khan, Khalil Williams, and I would meet with Miss Kiara and come up with ideas on homecoming, fundraising, spirit week, and so much more. It was a pleasure working with you all, and thank you for being the greatest team ever. Finally, I would like to thank my family for always pushing me to do better. My older siblings always guided me in the right direction to avoid potholes that they had been through. My parents were always my main motivation. I pushed to better myself and utilize my potential in hopes to make them proud. I believe this is with all students, and I am here to tell you we have reached that goal. While writing the speech, I figured I needed to talk about COVID-19 and how our year came to a screeching halt. We didn't know that the day before spring break was our last day of public school, or that we wouldn't be able to shake Dr. Carmichael's hand and look out into the crowd and see how proud our families were of us. For some people, this is the only graduation they will ever have, and it's gone. The reason I didn't want to address the virus throughout the whole speech is that I don't want it to take anything more from all the memories we have made. Let's try to look at all the positive in this situation and be grateful that we were able to spend all these great times with each other. I think the biggest thing we can take away from this is never take anything for granted. Live every day like it is your last because now we sit here thinking, man, I wish I went to that last football game. I wish I went to homecoming. I wish I spent my last day of high school reminiscing on all the time I've spent here. We are the class of 2020 and we got robbed of a bunch of future memories, but now all we can do is hope and pray that future classes are able to have a graduation. This is the moment I've been putting off and procrastinating writing. It is time to say our final goodbyes to all the memories we have made together. Please go live your life to the fullest, stop caring what others think of you, and seek discomfort. Make memories that will last forever. You all are so individually unique and bright-minded. I wanna thank you all for being the greatest group of people and that whatever happen, whatever your plans are in the future, I hope it works out. I wouldn't wanna be with any other graduating class. So to the class of 2020, thank you, and I wish you the best of luck. Good evening, everyone. Clay Carmichael again, principal of Pedro Menendez High School. I would like to call attention to a graduation tradition we have here at, Pen at Menendez. As a school and as a district, we strive to model and practice the six pillars of character counts. Tonight, I want to call attention to the outstanding character traits and acts of service we have witnessed from the class of 2020 over the last four years. Time and again, this class has demonstrated the highest degree of character counts. Tonight, it is my honor to share with you the outstanding acts of integrity and service that I personally have observed from the class of 2020 over the last four years. You have kept a square chin with huge issues from Hurricane Matthew when you entered PMHS 2016 to COVID-19 during the time in which you are now celebrating your huge success. As a senior class, you have millions of dollars in scholarship awards most of you volunteer in churches, at dog shelters, as well as packing Thanksgiving meals for needy families. You have led Falcon Fridays, allowing hundreds of elementary school students to experience there is nothing more important than being nice and being in the service of our community. You have held multiple cultural fairs, celebrating our diversity and teaching us to love and respect our differences. You have dedicated countless weeknights and weekends to tutoring and supporting your fellow student athletes and artists. 
You have united in times of tragedy and celebrated in times of victory. You are a best buddy and a Victory Day leader. It took all of you, united as a team, to accomplish so much. Tonight, I have asked these six, six outstanding seniors to represent the Character Counts legacy of the class of 2020. Your personal commitment to hard work, serving others, and being caring, trustworthy citizens is beyond stellar. Representing respect, John Chris Witchlatch in yellow. Responsibility, Lauren Prosuch in green. Trustworthiness, Madison Johnson in blue. Caring, Jalen Eumas in red. Citizenship, Morgan Schooley in purple. Fairness, Gabriel Severa in orange. Congratulations, class of 2020. You're absolutely fantastic, and I'm proud to be your principal. Good evening, class of 2020. I'm Clay Carmichael, principal of Pedro Menendez High School. For much of the day, officials warned that San Augustine could suffer the worst damage ever. Florida officials said that Friday afternoon, more than one million customers would be without electricity with winds over 110 miles an hour. Significant flooding hit the cities, will hit the cities south of Jacksonville, including San Augustine and Norman Beach on Friday. This is what you experienced class of 2020 when you were entering Pedro Menendez High School fall of 2016. That was Hurricane Matthew. Now that you are leaving, for the second day in a row, Florida experienced the worst day of COVID-19 fatalities. The state, statewide death toll passed a grim marker on Friday. Per State Department of Health's evening advisory Friday, hundreds of fatalities are expected from COVID-19. Day-to-day increase in cases grow by more than 100%. Through all of this, I have never experienced a team of students that are happier, well-rounded, caring, you care about each other, you care about your community, you care about your state and country, and going in the right direction that's bound to lead you to success. What are the attributes that are going to continue to take you through such a new world? You see things for what they are, you live in front of reality, you don't shy away from the consequences, and you embrace the positive end. You see problems with strategy and detail. You know the core of the issues. You consider all options. You are, as a group, decisive. You're collaborative, hardworking, and fun. You listen to all opinions, both unpopular and unpopular. You take risk in the face of crisis. I see those college applications still coming in. I see those military enlistments. I see those career and job applications continue no matter what. You understand making an imperfect decision is better than making no decision. And in spite of all of this, you're humble. You're absolutely great, but yet you're humble. You admit fault when you make mistakes, and you congratulate each other in times of fun and in times of celebration. Class of 2020, I am so very proud to be your principal. Go Falcons. Danny Herman Allen, Jr. Gabriella Nicole Ashton. Anna Rachel Atterbury. Zoe Sophia Ayala. Ashley Bree Baker. Corey Curtis Banks. Cooper Garrison Barnes. 
Maya Lee Barrett. Catherine May Berry. Ainsley June Batista. Thomas Mark Bergstrom. Blake Allen Berry. Cheyenne Marie Baruby. Katie Marie Beverly. Riley Thomas Bindley. Alex James Binkowitz. Cade Ryan Blanco. Hunter Cole Blazingame. Chastity Marie Bowser. Corey William Michael Brabham. Sydney Lee Branch. Seth Bratcher. George Fulton Brown IV. Kelsey Marie Bruner. Samantha Agnes Brunez. Ariel Janae Burton. Teresa Elizabeth Busby. Debrishian Yasmin Bush. Apolline Francois Antoinette Fabian Cagne. Isla Elizabeth Calvin. Emily Christine Cannon. Kyle Wayne Capo. Joaquin Alonzo Cardenas Nunez. Dixie LaFay Marie Carter. Carly Allison Casella. Colby Hayden Cash. Zoe Madison Cataletta. Evelyn Diana Ceballos. Dalton Chase Chance. Caitlin Virginia Chauncey. Dylan Michael Childress. Olivia Star Chincio. Nicholas Matthew Clifford. Anya Lachey Coley. Michael Salvatore Colvin. Thomas Jesse Coronado. Sean Anthony Crafton. Grant Michael Cregan. James Anthony Crookshank. Julie Marie Cruz. Salvatore Joseph Cucuza Jr. Isis Chloe Cunningham. Leah Helena Dobby.
Colin Trey Davis. Evan LaVar Davis. Macy Miller DeBonis. Andrew Jacob DeGrand. Cassidy Louise Deckley. Noah Michael Dowling. Jason Terrell Duff. Kayla Michelle Gioba. Sierra Noel Edgel. Anteria Nabriah Evans. Ronald Robert Evans III. Neve Debria Felder. Lane Dawson Fender. Aya J. Filat. Christian Seth Finch. Ashley Nicole Fuentes. Aaron Gustav Furman. Wyatt Michael Keith Fulcher. Gray Philip Gamble. Damaja Janae Garden. Carlos Fernando Garastegui Gutierrez. Macy Elaine Gibson. Lori Sue Ellen Gilkey. Noah Brian Gillen. Isaiah Dewan Gilliard. Ty Scott Goldman Pittenger. Frida Maria Gomez. Dawson Alexander Gorham. Gabrielle Jade Guzman. Leighton Houston Guzman. Ashley Sierra Ali Hamilton. Guante Tabari Hampton. Jordan Lee Hancock. Emily Danielle Hansen. Anthony Clay Harrell. Julia Eleanor Hartman. Cole Thomas Hickman. Jade Mackenzie Hicks. Peter Raymond Hicks. Chadwick Bruce Heldreth. Nigel Elisha Heinz III. Tyler Donald Hinton. Jatavia Tamaya Holloman. Gabriel Martin Hollister. Jackson Ellis Hollister. 
Mariah Faith Hollister. Alyssa Rose Howard. Stephen Edward Hudson. Alex Christopher Hunter. Michael Brian Hunter. Alexis Angelique Jackson. Taylor Marie Jackson. Anna Elizabeth Jacobson. Bregan Isaac Johns. Madison Nicole Johnson. Riley Gavin Johnson. Chardonnay and Marie Jones. Garrett Stephen Jones. Matthew Wayne Jones. Colby Dean Jorgensen. Jillian Ailey Keene. Grace Kelly Kennerly. Marcus Keon King. Michael Dale King. Adam Eugene Knudsen. Jarrett Lane Lacaze. James Tyler Lacadara. Shauna Nicole Law. Chloe Irene Lentz. Nicholas Donovan Longo. Brooke Anna Lawrenson. Joshua Taylor Lohman. Trey Devon Lyons. Taylor Renee Mabry. Haley Marie Marr. Elizabeth Hope Marino. Kate Elizabeth Marsh. Dakota Vincent Ray Matthews. Alyssa Eileen McAnallen. Mercedes Sadies McDonald. Lindsay Marie McHone. Abigail Louise McLennan. Hannah Elaine Meadows. James Devon Michael. Riley Slade Miller. William James Millwood. Joseph Ton Mina Capelli. Samuel James Q. Min Mitchell. Caden Thomas Moore. Gracie Elizabeth Moore. 
for Maya Lene Mosley. Delamar Munoz Centeno. Sydney Page Myers. Maxwell James Newman. Marissa Courtney Newsom. Allison K. Neerth. Gavin Lee Nutter. Sophie Ognjenovich. Grace Elizabeth Olson. Kaya Renee Paget. Christian Corey Paget. Jonathan Tyler Palermo. And Renee Palmer. Harley Jarrett Palmer. Julian Tomas Panic. Grace Leanne Pappy. James Logan Parham. Melissa Celeste Para. Rhea Rajesh Patel. Abby Christine Perpich. Zoe Elizabeth Peterson. Olivia Rose Pinder. Noel Elise Plappert. Tyler Mackenzie Platt. Christopher James Powell. Robert James Poydock. Taylor Lee James Preston. Drew Brady Prill. Aubrey Lane Prinsler. Lauren Marie Prosek. Angela Rose Ramsey. Kaylee Ann Raska Ursino. Daniel Charles Raymaker. Crystal Mariah Reese. Alyssa Don Repolt. Taylor London Rewitzer. Robert Joseph Richard. Chandler Dale Robbins. Alexandra Grace Roberts. Deanna Jabrakiara Robinson. Trevor Nestor Robeson. Angel Elijah Rodriguez. Ariana Mylene Rodriguez. Tyler Vincent Rodriguez. 
Karena Rodriguez Perso. Isabel Anais Rapolo. Alyssa Nicole Ross. Sarah Amal Sabagu. Isai Danielle Salcido. Eric Michael Sampson Jr. Autumn Marie Sanderson. Joseph Reed Shander. Thor Allen Schiefer. Ryan Emil Shivani. Morgan Marin Schooley. Noah Lanier Sears. Jordan Marshall Seeley. Kiara Lynn Semmelman. Wyatt Dwayne Shields. Ava Rayleigh Schaffner. Gabriel Rojo Silvera. Kaylin Faith Sims. Alyssa Diane Solano. Michael Kevin Solomon II. Savannah Faith Spencer. Erica Lynn Spiker. Ruby Bella Rose St. Vincent. Ketty Ann Stafford. Sydney Lorraine Staley. Ariana Lachelle Stanley. Madison Glee Stevens. Cedar Bolin Sterry. Blake Andrew Stevens. Robert Kelly Stewart. Gavin Storch. Kaylee Sue Sutton. Jessica Lynn Swartz. Ethan Wesley Swindoll. Mallory Hope Talbert. Caitlin Elizabeth Hodges Tanner. Ava Charlize Bradley Terrell. Jason Allen Thomas. Lily Jill Tillo. Kayla Marie Travis. Nicole Diane Travis. Timothy Jacob Tucker. Jessica Nicole Orsino. Madison Grace Van Skyver. Sebastian Joe Vera. Johnny De Leon Verdell III. Marlena Alexis Vinzant. 
Joshua Virzi. Dominic Allen Wagoner. Annika Alia Walsh. Caitlin Elizabeth Walters. Jay Sean Isaiah Lee Watson. Jocelyn Renee Weaver. John Chris Ignacio Whitlatch. Owen Thomas Wilcox. Devin John Williams. Khalil Roshan Williams. Julia Sarah Williamson. Grant Scott Willower. Cody Johnson Wilson. Giovanna Rosa Wollison. Jalen Iman Yumas. Logan Michael Young. Antoine Younger Jr. Logan Alexander Zidane. Corbin Michael Zelt. Mr. Mignon and Mr. Forson, would you please join me at the podium? Mr. Forson, I certify that all members of this graduating class have completed the official requirements for graduation under, regu under the regulations of the Florida Department of Education and the policies of the school board of St. Johns County. As superintendent of the St. Johns County School District and on behalf of the faculty and administration of Pedro Menendez High School, I certify to you that all members of this graduating class are eligible to receive diplomas in recognition of their graduation. On behalf of the school board of St. Johns County and by the authority of that school board, I hereby confer these diplomas from Pedro Menendez High School on each of you and congratulate you most heartily on this notable achievement. Will the class of 2020 please stand? The school board and superintendent of St. Johns County have given the responsibility for your high school education to the faculty, staff, and administration of Pedro Menendez High School. We, the faculty, staff, and administration have fulfilled that responsibility. The class of 2020, having satisfactorily completed all the requirements of law and standards for high school graduation as prescribed by the Florida State Board of Education and the St. Johns County School Board, is hereby awarded their diplomas. Graduates, please move your tassel from right to left. Congratulations, class of 2020.